Hello everyone, so after almost 8 hours at the Circle of Sundering, I have finally managed to get my bracelet, Unrefined Starbreaker Bracelet. So why did it take me 8 hours? Mainly because I can't beat Master Hong. Yeah. So what I did was I farmed boss 1 to boss 3 over and over and over and over again until I got enough fragments to make, you know, I have to make my five uh, tokens but anyhow so now that we have our unrefined starbreaker bracelet as well as our hellion bracelet from um sandstorm temple we are now going to make our new bracelet so uh as we can see here first of all you'll see we can use the guaranteed evolution as long as we have a crux so what i'm going to be doing is i will be salvaging my tiger bracelet to get the crux you click on salvage click on that Oop. and voila now you have the red dragon crux so next up is hellion guaranteed revolution over here with this one evolve boom so now that i have the starbreaker bracelet at level one next thing i need to do is get it to level three or whatever it is so here we go boom Okay, so breakthrough available. So the next thing that we need for the breakthrough is the Hollow's Bracelet. Hollow's Bracelet, we can buy that at Velandria. So Velandria is right here. So, you know, where we were at the monastery, we're just going to go down here where all the Yunes are. So we're just going to fly over there now. Now that we're in Velandria, we're just going to run forward to the merchant over there wearing pink. This merchant over here. Talk to her. And we're going to buy the Hollow's Bracelet. Right here, Hollow's Bracelet. It costs 10 Naru Silver. Grab that. Oop. Now we can do our breakthrough. So, you know, it does cost 3 Silver Scales, 1 PTS, and a whole bunch of materials. As well as the Hollow's Bracelet. So let's break through now. Oop. Once that's broken through, now let's continue to upgrade all right so once that's done the next thing that we need to do for the next breakthrough is we need a numok uh bracelet you get this from drowning deeps i've had one from ages before because i just kept it and now we do the breakthrough again breakthrough and we continue with our legendary jewels to get it to max level well to level nine then to, to get from level 9 to level 10, we will need to buy another bracelet. Now that we're at level 9, we will need to get the Doctrine Bracelet. So we can get this at Zai Wei at the Merchant. So let's, hold, let's head over to Zai Wei. So the Merchant in Zai Wei actually is up here at Merchant Square. So we're going to have to come to the Glossomir Inn. So once you spawn here at South District, just look directly up to Merchant Square. Start running over here and you'll see a little guy over here on the right side right and then uh this lady right here on the right side will sell that bracelet however keep in mind that the uh the unity bracelet costs 300 gold and 10 silver scales keep in mind that you will need silver scales in order to purchase this unity bracelet needed for your breakthrough over here okay very interesting so uh nc nc west managed to mess up something rather important and they miss miss uh translated the item so over here it says doctrine bracelet but it's the unity bracelet that's needed to break through so just make sure when you come over here make sure you have 10 silver skills and 300 gold to buy the unity bracelet once you buy the Unity Bracelet, you'll see here that it lights up, it lights up and it changes from the Doctrine Bracelet to Unity Bracelet. So uh, just keep that in mind, guys. So uh, now that we have our Unity Bracelet, we can use it and we will do our breakthrough. Let's do the breakthrough now. Boom. And we have successfully maxed out our Starbreaker Bracelet. So uh, next up, obviously, I will be going into uh, F12. I'll be doing a short parse. So uh, let's head over to F12. 
let's head over do a quick parse and let's see how much damage I do so before the uh, before with the old bracelet I was dealing around 200k DPS uh, as a parse now I'm hoping that I can hit maybe you know at least 230 but um, you never know you never know might surprise me I'd like to be surprised I hope I can hit like 250 but uh here we go Blood training dungeon we'll just use the long way for now because uh time is short and I kind of want to go to bed soon yeah my my parse I got 24k dps from this I went from 200k to 224k uh, it's it's not huge but you know any DPS increase is good. However, keep in mind that the Starbreaker uh, bracelet for Wind Summoners, it procs off Petal Storm now, which is your three skill. But anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful. I'm still rather disappointed by the damage, but um, you know, any DPS increase is good for me right now. Anyhow. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. What can I say except you're welcome for the heals the boost so